Well, when we when I started, um, was in the back of the Moon's doorway on 815 Bannock in the back doorway, and it was just kind of a an accident of sorts. I just happened to crawl into the doorway to have a smoke and ended up seeing a small image already on the door. So I just kind of started drawing with it, and then Mark and Callie, the owners of Moon's at that time. Uh, hit me in the head with the back door. They're like, oh, you've been doing some drawing. And I was like, you know, I'll cover it if you want me to. I'm not normally my thing to do this. And they were like, no, just sign it and date it when you're done. We just kind of started growing and going from there. Just started bringing in other street kids that I knew that drew and just, hey, come draw with me. Hey, come draw with me. And our block in general is very supportive of um, us through the whole span. It allows me to give the other artists permission to do the same things. Um, I get permission for the spaces and then I'm able to give permission to the other artists to do their thing. Utilizing the alley for what it's for is to help develop a person's abilities and career um, moving forward with themselves. We get the artists set up, they start working and then we can just kind of roam around and just monitor, see if people need anything. Uh, get them water, help them out, uh, kind of like a runner for them. If they say, hey, you know, could you get me this? We go get it. And then, you know, we opened up inside in December of 2014 and we've been rotating anywhere from three to five artists in and out each month. We've had people come from Santa Cruz. Uh, we've had people come from Wisconsin or we're here from Wisconsin that we're like visiting and uh, we had one guy from LA. We've just, some people were travelers and they put up a piece. I do like the change so that every year people are like, oh, it's different this year, we gotta go. And they come back and they visit. Um, it helps our businesses, it helps uh, the overall art scene for underground artists, established artists, I'm glad I can provide a space for people who may not be able to get shows other places. Uh, much like myself, I, that's part of why I don't really tell too many people no. Um, I'm tired of hearing it and you never know which one of them might be tired of hearing it too. And so to find us and hear, yes, you can paint on a wall, yes, you can display your stuff, is like, oh, okay. And then they have their foot in and start to get comfortable with how that part of things goes and I got this and between a city block and a small nookie corner, I got my hands full.